Astaire Tolbert's Tolbert's ten-year-old son Micah was supposed to start school in the fall at a Newark-based virtual charter school where all classes are taught online to home-based students. But that changed recently when New Jersey Education Commissioner Christopher Cerf denied the school's final application. Uh, we were very surprised, very shocked, mm -hmm. very shocked. And we'd like to a ask why, mm -hmm. you know? We'd like to invite the commissioner to come and visit with us or talk with us and the families in New Jersey and really um, answer to us, why can't we have this education for our children? In a letter to SURF, school board officials from the New Jersey Virtual Academy Charter School had similar questions, noting they've already enrolled 850 students and hired teachers for their K-12 through school based in Newark. SURF also denied the charter for a second proposed virtual charter school for high school dropouts based in Tinton Falls. He cited legal concerns and questions about oversight as reasons for rejecting what would have been New Jersey's first virtual charter schools. Opponents to these schools echoed SURF's concerns. I think the most fundamental reason is they don't work. Study after study shows that children who attend virtual charter schools perform far worse than students in traditional public schools. Um, virtual charter schools are another drain on scarce public resources. Another concern of Caldwell's is that a for-profit company, K-12 Incorporated, the nation's largest online education firm, has ties to both schools, and she questions whether online learning is suitable for every child. And the thought of a kindergartner sitting for four or five hours a day in front of a computer screen leaves me cold. That's not the way children should be educated. But a company spokesperson points out K-12 courses are used in over 2,000 school districts in all 50 states. They help dropouts get a diploma and provide a safe alternative from bullying or dangerous schools. Micah's mom agrees. I like this way of learning because it um, allows me to see a couple things, exactly what my child is learning. I get to back up everything he's learning because I'm right there with him, helping him learn, as well as the fact that um, he gets to um, uh, learn more advanced if he wants to. Meanwhile, officials from the New Jersey Virtual Academy Charter School are asking SURF to reconsider his decision, but with strong opposition from groups like Save Our Schools and the state's largest teachers union, the NJEA, it's unlikely that will happen anytime soon. For NJ Today, I'm Desiree Taylor in Union.